okay y'all so today's the day i'm about to go in to the doctor's office Ooh <laughs> it's a vibe it's a vibe can't deny can't deny all of the feelings that you got me feeling inside you a vibe you a vibe can't deny can't deny my heart is beating so fast because I'm so nervous. Welcome to my channel. This is LaVon and Ned, where we do all things Vaughn. And without further ado, we're about to get into this video. Uh, good, how are you? Very good. I'll give this to you. Sure, I'll take it. I'll take all of it. I'm so excited. Tell him if I cry. It's not because I'm sad. What do you tell me if there's anything bad? Just because I'm so excited after three years. I'm so excited. Today I'm so excited. <laughs> How did I? Is that yes. But it just. Okay. I understand. I get to know something. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Hopefully I can just leave my camera right here. He's really nice. He wouldn't care, but I just don't want to have to mess with him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. If I do, it's tears of joy. Oh, what is that? My go back chest like this. Miss Brown, good to see you. This is Nisha, the yeah. Ulster of Med Student hanging out with me today. Hi. Nice to so how are you doing? Any changes in your symptoms? Any better, any worse? Worse. Worse. Truthfully. Yeah. And show me, is, remember you were, you were telling me how on the side it was bothering you, but also kind of everywhere, is it changed? No, this, you know, still here, uh -huh. still grows down in here. Yeah. Come lay down here for me. Let me check your motion levels. I know we went over a lot last time, and thank you for being patient with me and getting everything, okay? Thank you for seeing me, so. And so, again, this is your right hip, this is your left hip. The hip is the purest ball and socket joint in the body. It's a... This is all I do. It's the best joint ever. Um, but you do have hip dysplasia, without a doubt. So part of the ball, the majority of the ball is outside of the socket. An extension of the cartilage called the labrum is right there. And you also have a labral tear. And so you have hip dysplasia. And I want to show you kind of the significance of that in a labral tear. But also, you even have, remember from that imaging that you had previous with Dr. Hopkins, the muscles on the side of your hip are also angry. So like you have some souped up hip bursitis. Well, why is that? Well, when you have instability of the hip, the hip is moving like this instead of like this. Well, those muscles on the side of the hip have to work extra hard to keep the ball in the socket and they get overloaded. 
And so I think the majority of your pain, yes, is coming from your hip, from the hip dysplasia, the labral tear, and all the downstream effects of your hip instability. Does that kind of make sense? Mm -hmm. Remember when you felt that pop? And you yes. felt that it's unstable? Mm -hmm. Well, everything's trying to compensate for that. Um, so far, so good? So far, so good. So here, I print out the reports for all my patients for, so that's there. This is the MRI of the left hip. I want to show it to you, but yes, you have hip dysplasia and you have a labral tear. All these other uh, images, all these other uh, findings I, I use to uh, plan for surgery. Um, and I actually developed that grading scheme for radiology. The other one is the CT scan. So we've got the hip dysplasia and the rotation and everything, all these measures that uh, uh, measurements I um, measure are just kind of for uh, grading the severity of it. It's moderate, it's really moderate dysplasia. Okay? okay. okay. And then let me kind of drive it home and show you. Thank you so much. So remember the x-ray, well here is the CT scan. This is a much better at showing you how dysplastic it is. So this is your right hip, this is your left hip. You actually have- Oh my right goodness. Hip. You can see now how much of the ball is outside of the socket. Oh wow. And this area is deficient. Whereas here in your right hip, you also have dysplasia, but the, the superior portion of the bone is not deficient. You see how you have that Oh muscle? yeah. And then the MRI is great for the soft tissues and this special one picks up more. Oh my God. So this is your abdomen, this is your buttocks. This is the labrum. And you have a clear labral tear that extends pretty far, pretty large area there. And so this little labrum is what's helping to provide stability while well, it's no longer providing the stability oh. to the hip. And so at this stage, mm -hmm. I know you've been battling this for a long time. And the, the options are continuing to battle it or possible surgical options to fix the dysplasia. And what would that entail? That would entail me going in there and pairing the labrum with an arthroscopy and suture anchors, tightening that labrum down. But that's not the whole cause. We've got to correct the dysplasia and so I do a PAO. It's called a periacetabular osteotomy. That's where I move the whole socket over to cover the ball. I, I make a sequence of osteotomies uh -huh. in order to free up the bone uh -huh. to move it. Uh, I got to keep it in, but yeah. I, I move it move to it. stabilize it. And the goal of that is to help your pain, right? To, if, you, if your pain went away, which I would pray it does without any surgery, um, but it hasn't, um, then you know I think this is the best next step. Um, but it's only if you have symptoms. If you don't have symptoms, don't let anyone touch this hip. What are the outcomes? The outcomes are very good and you have a good joint, um, but it's not perfect. You can think of hip dysplasia as something like hip disease, where just like hypertension, diabetes, the pills and stuff they give for that is it's not the cure of it but it's the management the process and surgery is part of the management of this mm -hmm. and so strengthening and all the stuff after surgery has got to be lifelong and so the goal of a PAO is to help prevent that but with this current studies it may not fully prevent it but hopefully it will delay you wanting a hip replacement someday needing a hip replacement yes. someday I don't yes. want one <laughs> gotcha okay questions concerns Criticism. Uh, what is the recovery for PAO? So honestly, it is one year, but it's kind of a gradual progression. Six to eight weeks, I put you on a walker or crutches. And so we say walker and crutches. Then after eight weeks, then we start learning to walk again. It's not like you're running. You learn to walk, and then that kind of process is anywhere between three months to one year. I've seen patients back at four, four months, and they are very happy already. But I've seen patients back, you know, I had to follow them a few times at six months, like, you know what, I'm still recovering. And then at one year, they're like, man, I finally made it, kind of thing. And so it's, everyone's different. Okay. What are the risks? Well, the biggest risks are that most surgeons wouldn't consider this a risk, but continued pain. I do, because I want to help you, but there's still a risk you may still have some pain in the hip. The majority of time, it's better, uh, but still have some discomfort and tightness in, in the hip every so often. 
the pain on the side of your hip, we got to really work because that's going to get better with strengthening. Okay. okay. Um, the other risk is nerve and blood vessel damage. The risk of a major nerve injury is less than one percent. I will tell you, you always have a numb patch or uh, area on the front of your thigh that's kind of numb after surgery, um, just from the, the surgery itself. But mm -hmm. it's not a major nerve. The other risk is non-union. I mean, I've got to cut the bones and move them. Well, God is a great healer, but sometimes uh, they don't heal and they need another surgery to heal, but that's less than 1% uh, for a symptomatic non-union. I'm honored to take care of you. And so here's the thing is that I know this is not the first time we meet. It won't be the last either before surgery. I have a little packet for you and every, everything. And we start that process now. Okay. Okay? Okay. So hang tight right here. Okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. So hang tight right here, Miss Brown. And okay. I'll have my team in here, okay? Okay, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thank You're you so much. much. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Good luck in school. Man. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, I need to ask him a question. Do you want him to I just want to know if what he thinks about the right hip. Would I ever have to do anything with the right hip? Or... But no, I don't have to ask him that. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, he's still out there. I can. I guess I can ask him. He okay. doesn't mind. Uh, Dr. Wells, do you have a quick question? I, I forgot. Well, I um. So the right side. I know you said have. Is it more mild? I'm gonna have to have nothing in the right unless it starts giving me you, problems. If, if it doesn't hurt you, don't let anyone touch. Okay. But each time I see you, I'm gonna be looking at both. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Good Thank question. you. <laughs> oh, he's so nice. God, God, God did his thing with him. Okay. What's my next part of my life? Give you a lot. So one of our nurses is going to give you a call. So this is for you to keep and just um, read over. Uh -huh. And if someone's going to call me to go over. Yeah, so our okay. nurses is going to call. You can answer them once they're you on that phone okay. call, okay? Perfect. And that's it? Yeah, that's I'm it. I'm done for today? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, so Thank y'all so much. Let me just put the Well, y'all heard everything. <laughs> Surgery it is. I'm going to have to have the surgery. Physically, I'm ready for that because I'm just, I am. Mentally, I'm processing that like for real, like a year. A whole year. This is the start of my hip journey, y'all. It's gonna be long journey. I'm ready, but not ready, respectfully. So I'm about to go, um, do something with my life right now I don't know what to do right now all right y'all so April 16th we finally got answers I have a packet they're gonna call me to go over different things and get me ready on all the stuff that I need to do I thank God so 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 much I thank God so much I thank all y'all for who's checked on me who's all this I just like to know now I just like to I feel free to know like I am not a hypochondriac or something like that like i legitly had a, like i'm so thankful 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 dr wells is going to be taking care of me thank y'all for watching let me know down in the comment section if you have any questions and all that good stuff so as always be loved be blessed and stay safe y'all stay safe out there